Hey everybody, welcome back to a more Hall to Hack Challenge, the Sans KringleCon event. Uh, in the last video, we finished up one of the very, very first Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenges that took me significantly longer than it should have. Uh, and we thought there was going to be a little bit of a software update or maintenance that they were doing. Um, and I've checked back in. I, I thought I saw the Docker containers go down for the Cranberry Pie Challenges. Just a moment. Uh, but we're back in it and uh, we'll see how far we can go. Uh, and I don't know, just explore more and get some of these objectives done. So let's hop on over to the screen here and I will get started. Uh, I noticed we were standing right beside this greasy gopher guts fella right by this terminal challenge. The terminal challenge, uh, okay, cool. It is coming back. I don't know if we'll end up bumping into any of the uh, maintenance, but we'll see. Greasy gopher guts says grumph, blah, uh, and phlegm. And Skeptical says, big fan, John. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. He's going to watch this video. <laughs> or maybe maybe he will see this video and be like, hey, hey, you made the cut, man. You're in the show. <laughs> uh, does Greasy Gopher Guts have anything else for us? Oh, yeah. I need your help with parsing and map output. Yep. Yep. I did it. I, I already completed the challenge. Okay. Maybe a cheat sheet. Oh, there was a whole cheat sheet. Oh, oh, it's just for grep. Maybe that's maybe that's not going to be extremely necessary. We we muddled our way through it, but this probably would have been helpful. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Egrep might have been able to save the day for a bit and save us some of that suffering. Uh, anyway, what else does Greasy Gopher gets have for us? You can type quiz me in the terminal. Yep, yep, we did it, we did it. Oh, you really did it. I did it. Okay, then here's what we know about the Wi Fi here. Scanning for Wi Fi networks with IW list will be location independent. You may need to move around the North Pole and keep scanning to identify a Wi Fi network. Wireless and Linux is supported by many tools, but IW list and IW config are commonly used the command line. And that is what we had found and were using earlier. Only well, we can use the curl utility to make web requests. By default, curl makes an HTTP GET request. You can add request post as a command line to make an HTTP POST request. Yep. When sending post data, uh, you can add a tac -tac data to add content or parameters and that you would want to send along. And that's all he's willing to tell me. Okay, um, let's check, given a couple of these hints here. Uh, oh, does this bring me to the man page, by the way? Oh, Greasy Gopher Guts would help in a later objective. So we probably did that earlier than we needed to. Yeah, yeah okay, so here we're just the man page for the IW config. And IW list and web browsing with curl. We can post with curl. Good hints, good hints, good hints. Let's check. Um, can I actually use my command line interface? Let's see if there are any Wi Fi networks nearby. IW list scan, nothing at the moment. Okay, so we'll all, we'll keep bumping around though. Let's get to that next objective. I, I don't think we even got to see. Uh, what objective two was. Um, OMW is following me. <laughs> He's on his way. He is OMW. Let's, let's go on behind this building. Is there a little sneaky secret way back here? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm like bumping my avatar against the wall to try to see. Oh, OMW just came in this back alley with me. What a strange fella. <laughs> no, there was nothing back there. So that wasn't all that exciting. Um, and there's nothing else in this corner. So let's go see what else is here in the North Pole for us to explore. Uh, oh, ooh, we have another friend for Grimy McTrollkins. This looks like it is the Frost Fest because that door is over here. It says, yo, I'm Grimy McTrollkins. I'm a troll, and I work over for the big guy over there, Jack Frost. I'd rather not be bothered talking with you, but I'm kind of in a bind and need your help. Jack Frost is so obsessed with icy cold that he accidentally froze shut the door to the Frost Tower. I wonder if you can help me get back in. I think we need to melt the door open if we can just get access to the thermostat inside the building. The thermostat uses Wi-Fi, and I'll bet you picked up a Wi-Fi adapter for your badge when you got to the North Pole. Click on your badge and go to the items tab. You'll see the Wi-Fi dongle and you can open up the command line interface. Yeah. Should I be doing that like right now? Let me go to it. Maybe maybe over here it's a little bit closer. Let's scan again. Ooh, we got one. We got one. All right, so how do I connect to this? 
but this is for the this is like I, I think it's IW config, right? Yeah, you could just go ahead and connect to something. Uh, that is like the third objective, though, is it not? Yeah, so maybe we can do that after we get the second objective or the next objective done. So let's go find those over by actual KringleCon and not the Frost Fest. Over here, I'm just going beside the Frost Fest tower again. There's nothing else going on. But ooh, this looks like the entrance to Santa's Castle or the North Pole for actual KringleCon. Move in. Here comes Santa. I can't see dealer for the for the bird without thinking of another specific noun uh, right before that word. You know, maybe something uh, potentially illicit. <laughs> I don't know. I I just I, I don't know. Oh, Noel Bowtie is here though, and he has another. Um, cranberry pie challenge hey we're so glad to have you here i'm just hanging out here by the logic munchers game you know logic that seems to be in short supply at the tower the other side of the north pole Ooh, i'm sorry that wasn't terribly kind but those frosty souls do confuse me anyway i'm here working through the logic munchers game a lot of it comes down to understanding boolean logic like true and false and false wait what <laughs> It can get a tad complex in later levels. I'll need some help, though. If you can show me how to complete a stage in Potpourri at the intermediate stage through or higher, I'll show you some hints on how to find vulnerabilities. Specifically, I'll give you some tips in finding flaws in web applications that I've heard about at the North Pole, especially with slot machines. Ooh, that would be fun. But again, I don't want to get too distracted any more than I already am because I spent way too long on that last terminal challenge. And I really want to start moving through the objectives. So, okay, the entrance to the North Pole is over here. Let me close out the notifications um, on the information and the hints here. Yeah. But it looks like it's just talking about the logic. There are some hints for those. Oh, and they actually have a chapter one cheat sheet for logic oh goodness <laughs> these are just straight up truth tables these are just true and false for and and or and etc uh do they get into xor because that'd be kind of kind of kind of neat anyway let's let's deal with that later let's get back to finding objective number two everyone's here though here's fitzy short stack and they've got something going on here's mickey finn and senna you're back. <laughs> You're over here now. <laughs> it's so meta. You have a picture of the old Santa from KringleCon, like the past KringleCon. That's so cool. Welcome to my castle and welcome to KringleCon. Please make yourself at home, chat with other guests, and visit any rooms on the second floor. As you may find elves who need help with various tech problems around your castle, if you help them, they'll give you some tips and hints on how to solve all the objectives. Okay, cool. Good to see you, Santa. Glad you're staying well. Let's see. Sparkle Redberry. What you up to? What you got going on, my friend? Hey there, I'm Sparkle Redberry. This year, the Santivator is in top working shape. We ironed out all the issues from last year with it. As for that tower next door, I hear they have an elevator of some sort, too. I just don't really know where it would take me. If it would take me anywhere, I really want to go. Okay, okay, cool. <laughs> Can I go in the Santivator? Can I walk in there? Oh, yep. Sweet. So it'll bring me to the Kringle Con Talks over on the second floor. Now, these are great. And there's more cranberry pie challenges for jewel logins. There's an IPv6 sandbox. Each of these rooms, I'm going to assume, is just one of the, and not to say just, there, there's a lot of really cool uh, presentations and talks going on with this uh, Kringle Con, as there always is. Their virtual conference okay so in the speaker unpreparedness room there is another cranberry pie and elf morsel nugget nougat nougat but each of the tracks will be showcasing a different speaker and it'll link to their uh youtube video cool okay so there's the intro in uh track one and that room is packed i remember last year i don't think they had elves like in seats i think it was just a room it was just an empty room and on the wall <laughs> there, there was each talk. <laughs> so anyway, 
maybe we don't need to be up here because they're just showcasing some of the cool talks. I really recommend anyone listening in to go check those out, by the way. You absolutely should um, because they showcase some incredible stuff and there'll be hints for the actual challenge. Uh, and speaking of the challenges, we should find uh, Tangle Colbox. Help Tangle Colbox find a wayward elf in Santa's courtyard. Oh, the Santa's courtyard is around back. Uh, so we could go into Santa's office. We could go in the Net Wars room uh, if just to get a lay of the land. Oh, oh no, with Eve snowshoes. Okay, so there, there will be tons of stuff going on. And it, whoa, are people in the wall? Like behind the the knight in shining armor here? Like their their players have like glitched out. <laughs> what what is that gaming term? Are they they're clipping? Yeah. Good portrait of last year. Santa's office has a door leading to a landing pad. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep cruising. I don't think um, there's more that for us to any need to go to, but I want to go see what's in the Net Wars room just as well. Sorry for all this like exposition here. Oh, that guy's doing the warp challenge. Is he? Is he not? I remember like distinctly there was a warp challenge in the. Oh, this must be the slot machines, maybe. Chimney scissor sticks. He's over here by the by the scissor. Uh, <laughs> the squid game vote option whether or not to continue the game or not <laughs> and that looks like that's all there is over here in the networks room so okay cool we'll keep all those in mind um and let's get back to the lobby and go to the courtyard so the courtyard should be wrapped around through these other offices here if i remember well Yep, and there's the Splunk terminal just like last time. I was in the same place last year. So Angel, 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 <laughs> I can't talk. Angel Candy Salt is there hanging out with the Splunk controller. But Piney Sappington is showcasing an EXIF metadata cranberry pie task. So that's probably who we need to be chatting with, but we still need to find Tangle Colbox. Whoa, Cyberus is down here? That looks like Cerberus, but <laughs> with a reindeer? Woof, woof. Who said that? I'm Cybrus, the mascot of the Sands EDU College. Ooh. You know, I have many a times considered Sands EDU for some formal education, but I just haven't uh, haven't gotten started yet. So maybe. Hey there, Gumshoe. Tangle Colbox here again. I've got a real doozy of a case for you this year. Turns out some elves have gone some misdirected journeys across around the globe. It seems that someone is messing with their travel plans. We could sure use you. We could sure use. Wow, I can't talk. Another ambulance. I don't know if you can hear it. <laughs> Why don't you log in the vintage cranberry pie terminal and see if you have what it takes to track them around the globe? If you're having any trouble with it, you might ask Piney Sappington right over there for tips. So, for the sake of. Uh, chronological order. Let's do Piney Sappington first, and I'm just breezing right past. And let's get his XF Metadata Cranberry Pie Challenge done. Hey ho, Piney Sappington at your service. Honestly, I could use a touch of your services. You see, I've been looking at these documents and I know someone has tampered with one file. Do you think you could log in to the Cranberry Pie and take a look? It has EXIF tool installed on it if it helps you at all. I just, well, I feel that someone at the other conference might have fiddled with things. And if you help me figure out this tampering, I'll give you some OSINT hints, especially associated with geographic locations. All right, so let's get started on this challenge here. Help, that wily Jack Frost modified one of our naughty or nice records. And right before Christmas, can you help figure out which one? We've installed EXIF tool for your convenience. Okay, so let's hit LS. Oh, and we have a lot of documents here. Do I have the file command this time? No, I don't. Do I have EXIF tool? I do. Okay, can I run EXIF tool on all of these? <laughs> Um, so most, I'm going to assume, will probably have a creator and last modified by Santa Claus. But some of them will prop one might not. Uh, let's, oh, yeah, ooh, ooh, I actually see it right there. So this one is last modified by Jack Frost. And, oh, did that just bring me way down after I clicked? That's annoying. I want to scroll through this. There we go. So we can see this this entry here, and 
the top of this file would be where it would display the file name. So this file name is 2021.1221.docx. Did it actually save that? No, it didn't. 2021.12. Wait. <laughs> 21. 21.docx. That is what I just said out loud moments ago, is it not? Let's run exif tool on it one more time. Just to verify that is the correct one. Yes, that's been modified by Jack Frost. So that file name would be, if I go ahead and enter this up here, 2021.12.21.docx. We could see that super quick and easy. Your answer, checking if that is the correct answer. I don't know why that takes so much time, but okay. Wow, that's right. We couldn't have done it without your help. Congrats. And there we go. We've done simple document analysis with Exif tool. Uh, any of my viewers, if folks are familiar with other videos that I put together, you might very well have seen or known Exif tool before. It's just checking out metadata for specific files. And we were able to see, hey, who created this, like the author name, and then the last modified by uh, in docx or Word documents. So. Exif tool, nice and easy, letting us see that. And we could just kind of review and take a look to see what had been tampered with or what had been changed. We could have used our grep skills to be able to maybe look through those files because there were so many of them. But I don't know, scrolling through it made it super easy for us. Okay, so we can mark that as complete. And let's uh, go see Piney Sappington one more time. He said, wow, you figured that out in no time. Thanks. I knew they were up to no good. So hey, have you tried this Caramel Santiago game? Santiago, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Carmen? No, I haven't heard of her. <laughs> Good joke. Where in the world is Carmen Santiago? But anyway, some of the hints use obscure coordinate systems like MGRS and even what three words? W, I don't, I don't know. In some cases, you might get an image with location and the metadata. Good thing you know about this stuff now. And they say for those who don't like the gameplay, there may be a way to bypass by looking at some flavor of cookie. Uh, and Clay Moody is giving a talk on OSINT techniques right now. Hey, Clay's a good friend. Don't forget to learn about your target elf and filter in the interring system. What does that mean? Uh, so we have a lot of stuff going on right now. We have one document analysis done. New hints ooh, for flask cookies. Yeah. Oh, they're reading and decoding Flask cookies. Oh, from Chris Elgy. I'm just looking at the link. Flask cookies, on sort of client side, are dot delimited, base64 encoded with, oh, so URL save base64. Yeah. Take an example from Snowball 2. Kringlecastle.com. And that's all it takes. <laughs> and we have folks climbing in to help with typos and spelling error. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, let's go chat with Tangle now. Okay, so she's all good, or he, I don't know. Um, where in the world is Caramel Santiago? Santiago, I don't know how to say it. Welcome. In this game, you'll analyze clues and track an elf around the world. Put clues about your elf in the interrink portal. Depart by sleigh once you've figured out your next step. Be sure to get there by Sunday, Gumshoe. Good luck. I can start the game. Newly renovated, the castle is again to host host to the best call to hacker conference in the world, KringleCon. Security specialists from around the world travel here annually to enjoy each other's company, practice skills, and learn about the latest advancements in information security. Cool. Investigate. What is it? What do each of these mean? Are we just, wait, what? They sent me a blurry selfie of themselves or someone they met. Are we just doing like open source intelligence via this portal here? Uh, okay. What is what is the what is the visit interrink? Okay, so this is. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm. I 
I don't understand yet. Depart by sleigh. That could take us to different places or different things. So we could go to Denmark. Wait, what? I'm extremely confused by this one. The United States' largest city has it all. Not only can you ice skate in Rockefeller City or buy crafts at Bryant Park, but this is where Santa himself closes the annual Thanksgiving thing. Uh, okay. So after I'm investigating, the interrink still enters all these. Wait, 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 wait. Someone re referenced Slack. And... Okay, so we do need to figure out a little bit more. I'm assuming we just need to figure out each of the puzzle pieces here. We mentioned Slack. But now we need to go somewhere else to get another piece of information. So why does it... Christmas hasn't always been big in Scotland. You can enjoy a full experience now. Okay, we're in Scotland. Now, if I investigate different things, describe their next location in three words is frozen, push, and tamed. Okay. They were checking the Ofcom frequency table to see what amateur frequencies they could use while there. Uh... Elf mentioned something about Stack Overflow and Golang. All right, so the interlink uh, message is Golang. Yep. And now we can continue. Oh, no, no, no. Marcel Nougat. What is my objective here? <laughs> what am I trying to do? Depart by slide. Let's keep moving. Will it let me go to Austria? No. Will let me go to London. It will. Be sure to check out London's Regent Street. Okay. Investigate 3 is where it tells me. Oh no, I just missed the elf. What? I just missed the elf? What are you talking about? You've caught up to the elf in time. Do you know who you've caught? Uh. I'm going to take a complete guess. Didn't we, did we see this elf earlier? Uh, wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, so time, so, so the time moves forward, I'm assuming. Let me see if this changed at all. Let's get by three. They keep checking their Discord app. So preferred social medium is Discord. Yep. Um, but it was different. They said something about MGRS and 3-2-U-N-U. This looks different now. Or was I not reading this the first time? Okay, cool. Maintenance is all is all done. So what is the cookie doing? Was there a reference to a cookie? Preferred social media platform is Discord. Caramel Santiago, Jewel Noggins, and Noel Bowtie. Now when we depart by sleigh, Oh, to part by sleigh is like where they're going to go next, right? Oh, so it could be any different elf. 
I'm going to assume. They like Star Trek. So something has got to be French. Moving next. No? Yeah. Montreal? Yeah. Okay. Investigate. Oh, they mentioned Star Trek, though. Uh, Interrink fandom Star Trek. Can I filter the L's? No bow tie. So it's got to be no bow tie. Did I have the answer last time and just not even know it? Let's keep finding these. I just missed the elf. No. So no bow tie. Guess elf. I've won. <laughs> that challenge was weird. <laughs> Just kind of exploring and clicking around to gather information. I mean, I get it, I guess. But where in the world is that elf? Goodness gracious. So uh, uh, let me explain what I think just happened. That challenge was me trying to look through different pages to gather information about one elf and then being able to filter from the list and pool of elves, okay, which one meets the criteria? Well, I was moving to different locations. If I went to the wrong location, time would move forward, in which case I'm running out of time because there's a time limit to get as much information as I can about the elves. So that's that. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, kid. And we'll, we'll go back to our screen here. You never cease to amaze me, kid. Thanks for your help. And that's it. So is that objective done? Yes, it is. Okay. So now we have to throw Frost Tower's entrance over on three. Let's call this video done while uh, we're ahead. We've completed that objective and another Cranberry Pie Terminal challenge. So yeah, before we take on the next one, I guess we can start to tune out. So hey, thanks so much for everyone tuning in for, for this video. Kind of weird what we were going through, but you know, just wanted to explore, wanted to experiment. That's what we're doing for the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge, just kind of learning and seeing what, it's, what new things it presents to us all along the way. And we're still early, we're still super early in the game, so none of it has gotten crazy technical yet. Uh, but we got to play with Exif Tool, we got to do a little bit of open source intelligence, quote unquote, and I'm excited to see what we're doing next with the Frost Tower and some wireless connections. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.